Okay, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our PCI devices. We need to basically have a look at the groups in which they are in, and we're gonna need to tell the host system to basically disregard them, to put them into stub, so that our host systems could actually take control over it. Now you can't actually pass a single PCI device unless that PCI device is alone within the group. Uh, if the PCI device is not alone in the group, you have to pass all the devices within that group. So that's one of the problems that you can encounter, but it's really easily solvable. Just type in LS PCI. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this across the entirety of the screen and zoom it in a little bit. And there's a lot of things here, so I know you might find it a little bit difficult to orientate. But hey, if you know that your graphic card is NVIDIA or AMD, like you do this, LSPCI. For some strange reason my screen darkens when I do that. I need to check that out and fix it. Again, are you serious? Okay. Ah, I like this. So LSPCI and then type in grep I NVIDIA or you can type in dash I A M D to get a little bit of better I to get a little bit better filtering, so to say. But you can you can find them here. I mean it says here audio device, NVIDIA Corporation, and VGA compatible controller, NVIDIA Corporation, and then it tells you actual the actual graphic card model as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the grep option as it is a lot cleaner. Okay, so I have two NVIDIA cards inside and I have one AMD card inside. The AMD card, I'm not gonna mess around with it because that's the GPU that my host system is going to use, but these two I am gonna play with on end, so to say. Anyway, you can see that the GTX 970 has this ID and that this audio device has this ID, meaning that both of these devices are in the same group. And then you have, again, another, another GTX, which is in the same group as this audio device from uh, NVIDIA as well. So we need to pass, so we need to utilize them. You need, we need to treat them as one. So whatever we do to one, we need to do to the other as well. So if we do something to this one, we need to do that same thing to this one. And same goes here. If we do something to this one, we need to do the same thing to this one. So to say, a figure of speech, let me put it like that. Uh, I found some guides on the net, two, three of them, and they've stated that you need to do some group checkups or something like that. But I mean, you don't need to, I, I literally didn't see a point in doing it, not at this time. I mean, you don't need, you don't need to know everything that there is to know about a particular device in order to be able to actually pass it. So that's not really a big deal. Uh, what you can do, however, is inspect an individual device by typing in LS, PCI, dash VV, so for extra verbosity and dash S, and you can go ahead and select this one. So control shift C for copy and control shift V for paste, press enter, and oh, there is a lot of info. Okay, so let's see if there is anything in particular here. If I'm not blind enough to actually to find the actual driver. Okay, so kernel driver in use, it says PCI stub. Uh, if it's PCI stub, it's good. But as I said, the setup is finished here. So it's going, of course, it's going to be stub. You need to get to this point in time. It's not going to be stub for you just yet. So you need to perform a certain set of actions. Uh, usually it would be Noveo driver for NVIDIA that would be in use. Anyway, we need to, now what we're going to do is prevent a host operating system from taking control of this hardware. And we do that with the PCI stub. Uh, what do we need 
to do that? What do we need to, how do we actually do that? Well, uh, we need to get, uh, we need to isolate the hardware components and then we need to determine, we'll need to determine the piece, the device's IDs as we have done so like here. So you have the PCI, we have the groups where they are located. And then we need to separate separate them like, okay, these two are going to go into stub and these two are going to go into stub while this one, we don't actually have to do anything to this one. Uh, to do this, we will get the address of every device. So you have the address here and then we will ask for the ID of that particular device. I'm not the best person with the terminology, so if I've mislabeled something, please forgive me. So let's go, let's go at it one more time, NVIDIA, and then we're gonna do ls pci n s. If you want to figure out what all these options are, just type in dash dash help, and you will get a good amount of output, and then you can just find a command that you would like to that you would like to learn, the argument that you would like to learn more about. So lspci-n-s, dash dash okay, so what is this? Uh, 0, 02 colon 0, 0, dot 0. Okay, so I got that one's ID, I need for one, and I'm gonna need for four. zero here okay so you won't I'm guessing that you won't have two graphic cards in your machine that you will have only one GPU that you would like to pass to the to the, the to the guest operating system which will be the virtual machine and you will want to keep the other GPU for the host system so I have to pass actually both of them because that's the way I have intended it but I mean there's nothing special that you need to do for the for the for passing of one, it's the same. It's exactly the same procedure, except except I'm doing certain things twice. That's all that there is to it. Now we once again need to edit the. We need to edit the grub. So we're just gonna actually. I'm gonna type in vim. Let's see, sysconfig grub. Now, make sure to write these down somewhere, open up a, a kwrite or gedit or something like that and write in these IDs. So write in, uh, copy paste this one and this one and all the ones that you want to pass. Just take the take the IDs of the devices and that's it. I have two say, I, I have two basically same IDs, but that's fine. So just copy these IDs somewhere where you can from where you can pull them now because we need to put them into grub. Okay, so begin editing grub. Let's go to the end and you can see what I did. I typed in pci-stub.ids equals and then I have one ID, co co uh, comma, no spaces. So you cannot type in any spaces here, just a comma. And then the second ID and then comma third and the fourth even though uh, they are the same. But you will only, you should only need these two. Now, hopefully, you won't have any more devices in the same group, other than the two of them for the graphic card, really the audio controller and uh, the and the actual graphic card. So you need to add this line here. That's all you really need to do. Just take a look at how I wrote it, and you need to do the same thing. Of course, you will again write. Uh, WQ meaning right and quit. So that's really all you need to do. Now you need to go ahead and reboot the system one more time. So just go ahead and reboot the system. Once you're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and come back and we will continue.